A Nigerian pastor of this green church, Tulu Lokwe Ayeni, has joined the nationwide answers protest against police brutality. He said that he had to join the call for an end to the maltreatment of Nigerians in the hands of officers because his members are also being harassed. Pastor Tulu Lokwe said that to speak out is it just it's just a thing to do and there's nothing ungodly about it, adding that he's not going to sit this one out. Many Nigerians have reacted to his tweet that has gone viral with thousands of engagements. Say, I'm, I'm, I am going to join the protest today. In my few years as a pastor, I have had members harassed and extorted by the police. I won't sit this one out. To speak out and speak truth to power is godly. And uh, you can see from the video he shared, I think uh, the 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 says like they set up canopies or whatever, but they are the ones the police people are the one rearranging it back. Everybody just keeping quiet. And I think the boy is beginning to speak. You know, it's beginning to speak. Oh, because they believe that when you just keep quiet, this and that. You know, when you keep quiet and things are going wrong, it shows it shows that you are part of or you are you are agreeing to what is happening. Say it, oh, this is this thing is not good, this thing is not right. I don't think there's any any offense there, whether religiously, whether uh, uh, constitutionally, or otherwise. This thing is not right. I don't see any insult there because if you say that, they will say, Why would you say that? Oh, people now begin to say, Hey, what is happening? Why will you really have to say this? Oh, it's because this and this, because this and this and that. You know, a lot of innocent people. Because anybody that you just hear that, oh, this person is being harassed. Oh, you are, you are, you have done something wrong. There is nobody in Nigeria that will tell me that he has not been harassed in one way or the other. You might be lucky that okay, maybe you say to them or whatever, and you know the way they behave. And some people will come out and be making some excuses. Loretta Onoche behaving as if she just came all the way. She came all the way from another country. That she never lived in this country. She was born and bred in this country. And she's saying all that she's saying. Saying those who their voices are louder. Calling for the end of this house are the criminals. You can imagine such a thing. When we are hearing from calibers. Timber and calibers of people that were, that were harassed. That have been harassed as well. You are telling us that they are criminals. The reason and the work of this house. They have taken it to a different level. The manner to which they, they harass people, it is where the problem is. Anybody that is uh, found gu guilty of any offense should be dealt with. But it's not that every... You know, the, 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 the height of the whole thing is that somebody will just say, bring your phone. Do you know what it means? Bring your phone. My confidentiality, bring your phone. What, onto what? If you are doing your investigation, do your investigation thoroughly. You can't just be seeing people at a, you know... You see people randomly and begin to say, "Give me your phone." What? What? What, what kind of thing is that? It's just too, 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 too embarrassing and so, so ridiculous. They will just say, "Give, give me your phone, give me your whatever." Even if you want to, if you, you are suspecting somebody or somebody, you think that this person must have done one or two things, one, one, or, one, two thing, one thing or the other. You know. There's a way, there's a professional way you go about it. You do your investigation. Even if you're going to be doing your investigation right there. Not that you just start me, uh, me, uh, rough handling them, intimidating them, shouting at them. Give me your this, this and that. You are doing this, you are doing that. You are, you are dressed this way. I don't just understand where they're getting this whole thing from. And the government has been quiet, saying as if, a, or, or uh, behaving as if nothing has, has been happening. I don't just understand at this age and time the crude way these people are operating and government will not tell us that they are not aware of it and they are keeping quiet. And you say you are governing people. You just will just be feeling big that uh, you have achieved your achieved your purpose of oh, being the president, being whatever you have been vying for in your life. It's all about that. Whatever that comes out of it is none of anybody's business. It's none of your business in the first place. Somebody was giving a testimony. I don't think I uh, in, in from the south from the southwest. A man was saying that that uh, somebody 
came out and said, oh, I want to be this, I want to be that. And they asked, okay, what do you really want to do? You want to become the uh, leader or you want to vie for one, okay, maybe I, whether governorship position, you want to vie for this position. What do you want to what do you want to give to the people? What are your plans? He said he does not have plan. He said, there, but why do you want to become governor? Why do you want to become the leader? He said, because it's his turn. They had to persuade the person before another person comes. He just wanted to be there because he believes it's his turn. And that is exactly what they are doing. It's because it's my turn. And that's why most of the time we are talking about this Igbo person. They say, oh, it is my turn. It is our turn. It's just, it's just all about it is your turn. Even if it is going to be your turn, let us have the best from there. From there, not that a business as usual, they will not tell you, oh, this person has been lawyer before. They have to just bring anybody. At the end of the day, we'll still come back to the same problem we've been facing. So is it just all about, okay, I'm just the president, I'm just the governor, that is it. After I will collect all, all manner of a uh, remuneration that is accrued or is attached to that office, after my four years or eight years, as the case may be, I get out. That is just what is happening, the way things are going. They are not serious about this thing. They're smart to this, what is happening. In this country, among these politicians that have they have failed to listen to what is happening. I don't understand whether there's something there's an oath they have taken that is different from the Nigerian constitution. I don't just understand because the way they behave, it shows that. So this man is coming out to say uh joining the protest is not ungodly, not at all. Well, how many of you can live without the services of Nigerian police? No, that is not what we are talking about. If they say they should hand the, this thing, it's, it's, it's automatically saying that they should they should try to uh, bring reforms. Because the reason why people are still calling for this, this is not the first time they are calling for answers, answers. It happened two years ago, if I'm not mistaken. It happened two years ago. And what happened? The same blow hot air. The IGP, I don't know whether it's this IGP or the former IGP, they blew, blew uh, uh, out hair, oh, this and that. And at the end of the day, they still came back again. Then what happened? What happened? And now they have come again to tell us that, oh, they have disbanded them, they have done this, they are going to... But that is not the case. If, because the whole thing is hot now, after some, maybe after some, after some months, they will come back again to the same thing, to the same place. So if uh, somebody who is saying that, uh, oh, if the... Uh, how many uh, of you can live without them? So they should continue with this. If somebody is saying, okay, we want you to hand them, that is to tell you that you need to do a proper rethink or a proper way of handling these people or how they are going to be dealing with people. That is what it means. Okay, the people are saying, let's end them, let's end them. Then you have to say, oh, we cannot hand them, but what we, these are the things that we are going to do. But at the end of the day, what are you guys looking for? You want a peaceful environment. You want a situation whereby you not be harassed. That is just what they want. Then, like they always say, there are many ways to kill a rat without shedding the blood. Then you have to give us what you have on how to go about this thing. And I'm sure the police uh, itself, they have a template on how these people need to be operating, but they have deviated. So they need to deal with them in that line. So people are saying, yes, we want them off. Then you have to tell us what you have. Hmm. Well, don't get the issue messed up. Who is talking about police? Was police not existing before SARS? Can't SARS operate and abide by rules of engagement? Exactly. There are templates that they need, they need to follow, but they are not following it. And they are not being punished for it. And that's why people are complaining. Not all SAS officers are bad, therefore a reasonable process should be for government to discipline bad officers and reorganize the police force for effective crime control. Hmm. So that's just it. So guys, leave your comment below and let us know what you think about this. Thank you.